Welcome back to DevOps Camp. In this video, I will be discussing about how to download Linux Mint ISO image and install it as a virtual machine on Oracle VirtualBox in Windows 11. First, go to your favorite search engine and search Download Linux Mint. Then, click on Download Linux Mint from the official Linux Mint website. On the day you watch this video the latest version of Linux Mint can be different than the latest version right now. On this web page, you can find a lot of information regarding Linux Mint, including various versions of Linux Mint and their features. I will be going with the Cinnamon Edition, which is the most popular version of Linux Mint as of September 2024. Click on Download to go to the download web page. Here, you will find the information about the Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition, including installation guide. To download the ISO image, scroll down and go to the section Download Mirrors. You can use any of the mirrors to download the image. I will use the first link in the list. It will start downloading. Now, let's check the system requirements to install Linux Mint version 22. Scroll up to the top of the page. Then click on Release Announcements. In this page, you will find the system requirements. According to this document, the minimum system requirements to install this OS is 2 GB of RAM and 20 GB of disk space. Let's wait till the downloading is finished. Now that the downloading is finished, we can install this operating system as a virtual machine. For that, you need to have the Oracle VirtualBox installed on your computer. If you have not watched the video to install VirtualBox, you can click the card above to watch that video. Hoping you have the VirtualBox installed, I will now create a new virtual machine. For that click on Machine in the top toolbar. Then click New. In the Name field, you can give any meaningful name. I will be naming it as Linux Mint. Now, you need to select a folder to install the operating system on. You can either keep it as default, or change it to a folder of your choice. In my case I will change it. Then, we need to select the downloaded ISO image from the downloads location. Make sure to check the option, skip unattended installation, in order to follow the same installation process I follow. Then click Next. Now, we need to allocate RAM and CPU cores to our VM. I will keep the 2GB of RAM as default and change the processor count to 2. You can change these values anytime even after creating the VM. Now, we need to allocate disk space for the virtual hard disk. Minimum is 20GB. So I will keep the default settings and continue. Check if the settings are correct from the summary screen. Then click Finish. Now the virtual machine is created. But we have to install Linux Mint on it now. For that, we first need to start the VM. Click on the created virtual machine. Then click Start. In the VM booting window, you have several options to select. Select Start Linux Mint using your arrow keys, and press Enter. Now, your system will boot. This process can take a while. You are now logged into the installation of Linux Mint. Here, you can test if this operating system suits you before installing. Any changes you've done in this is not saved. To start the installation, double-click on Install Linux Mint. You can select your preferred language for the OS here. Then click Continue. Here, you can select the keyboard layout. I will continue with default settings. Here, you can either check Install Multimedia Codex or not. It only helps you to play videos of some formats on machine. In this window, you can continue with the installation. 
Since you are installing this operating system on a virtual disk, it won't affect you base operating system files. Click on Continue. Choose your time zone here, and click Continue. Here, you can include your details. Computer's name and this is the name used in the network to identify the VM. Username is the name used to identify the user account. Choose a password, and make sure to remember this password. You will need this in future to use the root privileges. Now, the installation will begin. It will take around 30 minutes to finish the installation. I will skip to the end of the installation. You now need to click on Restart Now to apply the changes. Now, click on Enter to continue to boot process. Now, the installation has finished and you are booted into the Linux Mint operating system. However, you may wonder the VM is not maximized to full screen. To solve this, you have to install VirtualBox Guest Editions. Since I have already done a video to install Guest Editions on Ubuntu, I will link that video here. Since Linux Mint is extension of Ubuntu, the same process can be used to install Guest Editions on Linux Mint. Click on the above card to watch that video. That's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Like the video and subscribe to DevOps Camp for more content like this. Thank you for watching.